Well, as a medical student, I always thought I'd be a primary care doc. Uh, I think that's all I'd been exposed to and always had an interest in art and realized that probably wasn't going to be something I'd make a living at. And so I think, um, you know, as just kind of things began to evolve, um, had some interest in the sciences in high school and college and ended up uh, rotating with a guy that um, did a variety of things and thought, boy, that's what I want to do. We were in Indianapolis uh, as a practice up until about three years ago and uh, just for space considerations had to look for a place that had a little bit more space and ended up moving to Carmel. But I would say our, our patient base is Indianapolis wide and actually, I would say really statewide, um, actually some out of state. That's why it doesn't take very long to just sit. Even though I do this every day, uh, you know, I know what it's like when you're, you're sitting on the, the patient side of things. It's a completely different feeling. And I think if you know that you've got somebody that really does care and that really has an interest in taking care of you and, and wanting to keep your best interest always at the forefront, I think that would make me feel a whole lot better. And so hopefully that's what my patients are feeling. Our answering service is available for phone calls from patients 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And any time that anybody has a problem, I'm able to be reached. You want to treat everybody as if they were your closest friend or your family member. Um, you're probably not going to harm anybody with that philosophy. I think you always want to pick something out in life that um, you feel like you're contributing and that you feel like you're giving as much as you get um, and hopefully more because I think that tends to work it out in a very nice way. Something about this is so tangible and so immediate, uh, you get that kind of immediate feedback and immediate satisfaction. So I think that's why surgery especially, you know, kind of appealed to me. We try to spend a lot of time educating to the best of our ability. You know, I, I don't say that I have the final say and authority on what they should do, but we really want to make sure that they ultimately get something that they're happy with long term. It was actually very, I was very relaxed um, in the environment. Um, I was treated um, with respect at, towards my modesty. It's like talking to your, you know, sister or your neighbor or somebody you know. She was very approachable. Anything I wanted to ask, I could ask and that she would create the time for me to talk to me about those things. We start out our consultations, everybody's clothed. You know, I, I like to do that, you know, because I think nothing's more disconcerting than you're the one sitting there in your little underwear and you've never met this person before and now they're looking at you and critiquing your body. So I think sitting there and having a conversation where everybody's kind of on equal footing I think is really important and ultimately we then after going through the risks and the limitations and all those things we sit down with them and examine them. In the office especially it's so easy to let yourself get all involved in things that aren't right there in front of you in that room and I think that's one of the things that I've really tried over the years to really master is to you know kind of dismiss everything else and try to really be in the moment with that individual uh, because you know let's face it they have spent a lot of money they have taken a lot of their time uh, in many cases their family or friends time uh, they've endured some physical discomfort and they've put one whale of a lot of trust in somebody to do something that we've done. And I think the very least I can give them is my time and attention. <laughs>